Hi everyone. In this lesson, we are going to be talking about subordinate clauses. A subordinate clause is a clause that does not make sense on its own. It usually comes in to support the main clause and gives more details to it. To understand this definition, let's look at this simple example. Because the cat was hungry, I gave it food. Can you guess which part of the sentence is the main clause and which one is the subordinate clause? Try reading the definition again. A subordinate clause is a clause that does not make sense on its own, meaning it feels like it's not complete. Because the cat was hungry, then what? What happened? This, as you can guess, is the subordinate clause. It sounds incomplete. I gave it food is the main clause as it gives full meaning. I want to now talk about the use causes for subordinate clauses. Let's look at some examples from the modules which present more context. In order to have water for washing and irrigation, the company recycles household use water. In this example, we are emphasizing the purpose. So for washing and irrigation purposes, the company recycles their water. So we put the purpose in a subordinate clause at the beginning of the sentence. Recall that subordinate clause, in this case, in order to have water for washing and irrigation, cannot stand alone as a sentence. There are several other phrases such as so as to and so that that can be substituted for in order to but for the purposes of this lesson we will stick to in order to. Now let's move on to another example. Because of the threats of climate change many voluntary organizations were established. What is the use of the subordinate clause in this sentence? The word because should give you a hint. Here we want to emphasize the reason. What is the reason for the establishment of the voluntary organizations? The threats of climate change. There are other popular phrases that can be used instead of because, like because of, due to, and since. Let's take a look at the last example now. Even though there may seem to be more important issues, the first item on our agenda has to be raising money. Here we are showing contrast, giving two opposing views. Several words and phrases can be used for showing contrast such as although, while, though, even though, and whereas. To summarize, subordinate clauses cannot stand alone as sentences and must be followed by main clauses. Beginning a sentence with a subordinate clause shows the importance of the purpose or reason or the thing you want to show as contrast. Hope you now understand subordinate clauses.